Plenty more lefties losing it with my next guest, including the incredibly dishonest way the media is representing the presidential battle. Let's start with the Kamala rebrand. The far left Californian from San Francisco is not only stealing Donald Trump's policy to eliminate taxes on tips, but she's now pledging to take on big corporations, including Big Pharma. I will take on big corporations that engage in illegal price gouging, corporate landlords that unfairly raise rents on working families, and, and take on big pharma and cap the cost of prescription drugs for all Americans. Joining me now is the senior editor at large of Newsweek and Article 3 Project senior counsel, Josh Hammer. Josh, is she not already part of the Biden-Harris administration. Why isn't she doing this right now while they're in power? Well, she would like you to think that she is not currently in power for purposes of her policies, but I guess she wants you to magically think that she has all the answers come January 2025. Look, this is Kamala Harris's fundamental problem right now, is that she is the sitting vice president of the United States, and she has been responsible, just as responsible, frankly, as Joe Biden for all of the policies and, as you point out, all of the non-policies that have been implemented or not implemented for the past three and a half years now. She is responsible for the worst economy in decades, for a formal recession in 2022. She is responsible for the for the 9.1 percent annualized inflation rate that was reached two years ago in the summer of 2022. She's responsible for the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021 that made America look like a laughingstock. Wars in Russia, Ukraine, wars in the the Middle East, the Middle East, a tinderbox. I could go on, but Kamala Harris is responsible for the horrific policies of this current administration, and she, she is trying so hard to not talk about that. And the media, obviously, as you're well aware, Rita, is completely abetting this. They are not asking her about her actual track record. They are not bringing up the fact that she was the border czar, that she is singularly responsible more than anyone else in the entire administration for the absolute cataclysm of in, invading illegal aliens at the American southern border. But she's trying to have, have her cake and eat it too. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the media, like I said, is letting her do it. So the onus falls on the Trump campaign to ask the actual hard questions and to try to break through this media-induced collective bubble around her. It's really quite a mess, honestly.